recording is on. <laughs> okay, that would be a very nice thing to, to look at. Um, I have uh, put in a sample uh, Wikibase instance that I do not control, but that was used in a hackathon yesterday and today. Um, and it kind of nicely illustrates some of the uses uh, that uh, Wikibase Cloud can be put to. Um, and I also uh, created a, a fresh Wikibase Cloud account where uh, there is no Wikibase Cloud instance yet. So we could go through the process of setting up and configuring such an uh, instance and then see uh, whether the documentation for doing this uh, is sufficient or not. And for that, I was hoping for the participants in the session to provide some feedback as to what is most interesting to them, and that is to you. And so for the moment, uh, I see only me and Tom being listed here on the participants, but in the pad, there are seven uh, participants. So um, I encourage the others to uh, basically add their names here. And also, if anyone is actually working uh, with a Wikibase instance, uh, then um, yeah, put your sample base instances here if you want uh, to um, have us take a look at that instance together. Right? Um, yeah. I would. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the notes. Basically, uh, it's not constant complaints, but it's frequent. So let's just uh, change that briefly. Um, so if there is nobody who uh, has a concrete example, then I would suggest I uh, first show a Wikibase Cloud instance that uh, is working and live and uh, also meant for public consumption. And that is this one. And uh, there uh, we could look at some of the issues that come up. And uh, then we could go through the process of setting up a new one. Okay, yeah, if you, if you have uh, additional, uh, oh yeah, there's lots of additional information. Um, not sure I should go through this right now. Um, most of this looks familiar to me. It's all by Tom, okay, yeah. So, Tom, I'll ignore you for the moment, but uh, if you think that I'm uh, venturing off in a direction that uh, doesn't suit the session or your interest, then please um, interrupt me. Um, so, um, I will, I'll just go through this here. So, th this uh, Wikibase instance was set up uh, for a hackathon, and it this uh, during this hackathon, we're trying to basically have a look at the most recent IPCC report. So it is a document, uh, uh, 85 pages of PDF. We're trying to extract the content uh, of this. And so if I just go random page here a few times, we see the kind of content that we have. So 456D is basically a section. Uh, it's essentially a, a paragraph inside uh, the section 456, Society, Livelihoods, and Economies. Um, we could talk about the data model here. Um, and so, yeah, we have lots of sections that are annotated somehow. We also see here that uh, there are certain concepts that are mapped to Wikidata. And this is a frequent problem, uh, probably worth noting. Um, many Wikibase instances, they map somehow to Wikidata, and this is not fully standardized. Some use same as, some uh, use Wikidata entity or Wikidata ID or Wikidata QID and Wikidata PID, all these different kinds of mappings. And some of them use the full URL uh, and or maybe even yeah with the entity or with the wiki. And some of them uh, just use the identifier. So there is room for standardization. Um, then what else? Yeah, so here these are specific. So basically that is a sentence from the uh, from the report, and that is now being annotated with uh, additional information that this particular Wikibase is tailored to. Um, some of this is automated, some of it is not. Um, and uh, so there is also, there's always the question, like how do you actually configure uh, the, uh, the tools here uh, for use in a new um, Wikibase instance? Yeah, so 
Um, yeah. Um, there was an, uh, another thing that I wanted to, to show that sometimes people do not put any statements here. They just need a concept and so on. And in, in such cases, uh, I often just use uh, like a high level term like entity or so, which basically means that for the purposes of this particular uh, Wikibase instance, that's the highest level of annotation I want to do. And uh, I don't um, want to deal with all the details that you could say about global surface temperature. In that case, I would basically just point to uh, somewhere else, usually Wikidata, which has more detail. Um, yeah, but this depends on the purpose of uh, the particular Wikibase instance uh, that you're working with. Um, other things are, well, uh, the logo is uh, relatively straightforward to set up, but uh, for instance, it's entirely unclear whether there is any possibility to um, install custom um, uh, Wikibase or MediaWiki extensions. So let's see what is, uh, on this one here so here we have all the list of the uh, extensions that are installed and if i were to install and or if i wanted to install another one uh, i haven't found any uh, documentation as to whether that's even allowed in the current setup or uh, if it is allowed then how to do it um okay so yeah i see some of the notes here uh, is that just the three of us, really? I see in the pad there's 10 people here, or 10, 10 users at least. Uh, so if there are more people, please uh, put your names here. And also, if you have other Wikibase instances that you would like to look at, uh, then uh, please bring them up. OK, I'll, I'll go, go back. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. So um, I'll keep demonstrating. Uh, something here using this uh, sample Wikibase. Um, there are some other things that uh, would be nice to, to standardize in some fashion. Uh, so for instance, it would be nice to have, uh, when, when the uh, Wikibase instance is set up, the main page basically uh, is empty. And so here uh, you see it was uh, then created with uh, some specific content, but it would be nice if it came with some specific metadata um, that could be set up during the setup process. Uh, and uh, for instance, with some basic pointers to uh, notification or to um, customization, like how do I access the, the query service, for instance? So here, if I'm here, or, or where do the examples sit for the query service? That's another one. Uh, it's not entirely clear where do the examples sit, how can I configure this uh, particular uh, set of examples for this particular query endpoint. And then uh, if I'm going to write a uh, query, oops. so here that already, oh, okay, it takes a while. Um, there's some content in there already. Yeah. Um, but for instance, if I want to, to write a, a, a query, it's not entirely clear which prefixes I should be using. Um, and uh, of course, I can basically go here, but it only gives me uh, the prefixes for Wikidata and uh, other things that are not my particular um, Wikibase Cloud instance. And uh, so uh, people typically figure this out by looking at how have other public Wikibase Cloud instances done this, and then they adapt things. Uh, so here for this one, there are already a number of Sparkle queries. Uh, yeah. So here, yeah, list all text sections, for instance. Yes, we, we have for this particular hackathon, there is a, a list of uh, dedicated queries. So here, for instance, you have to... Uh, look at how the prefixes are being used. And there's often uh, potential for confusion because the WDT and WD thing is also used for Wikidata. And uh, then the, but the precise link here has to be adapted for uh, the um, precise Wikibase instance that you're working with. 
And so that could be made uh, much more clear uh, for somebody who uh, basically just starts and wants to run a query. Okay, so this one is maybe not the best uh, example for demo purposes because uh, here is already too much content and it takes too long. But hey, it's 220 results. Actually, this shouldn't take that long. And so another question is, yeah, what is the support uh, for the query engines behind this? Uh, so a similar query here on the Wikidata engine, uh, the Wikidata query endpoint wouldn't take 36 uh, seconds, uh, I would venture to say. And so the question is, OK, uh, where is documentation about uh, where these endpoints are being run and uh, what kind of performance we, we can expect? Um, yeah, so uh, these were some uh, initial thoughts. Oh, yeah, so there's a similar thing for entity schemas. They kind of work out of the box, um, but of course, they work slightly differently uh, from uh, Wikidata. And uh, so if I want to use them, then uh, yeah, there, I haven't found any good documentation on how to use entity schemas in a fresh uh, Wikibase instance. Um, similar things for uh, tools like Cradle or Quick Statements. They're there. They're part of the um, default instance or de default setup. Um, but um, it's not entirely clear how best to use them. Um, and yeah, of course, here we need to log in. OK. This one's still loading. Yeah, OK. And so here I can basically paste uh, quick statements commands. Um, which I assume most people here uh, will be familiar with. Um, but uh, it's it's tricky because the identifiers are different from uh, what you might be used to from Wikidata or from other instances. So uh, that always needs to be taken into account. Well, Cradle, for some reason, doesn't want to load. Um, So that was basically uh, a quick run through of some of the kinds of problems I am aware of uh, in terms of existing Wikibase instances. And uh, so now I'm having a brief look at uh, this pad here. And yeah, I see basically you're trying to uh, record what I'm saying. Um, I still see the long list of additional information yeah. Oh, yeah. So to the point of uh, uh, me saying that Cradle and Quick Statements is not too well documented, let's have a look at this particular link because this seems to. Okay. Dump the D. Great. Yeah. Uh, so that basically explains the um, general process, but. Uh, I would be uh, fine going through this particular process uh, once for setting up a particular um, Wikibase Cloud instance, or we could try to uh, make some edits to this um, IPCC instance here, um, if that's of interest to uh, some. Yeah, OK. Jago also says that uh, support for gadgets uh, is unclear, yes. Um, OK, so that was uh, the introduction based on an existing instance. I could also go through the process of setting up a completely new uh, instance. So here I have a dashboard, which basically has no uh, wikis. So for the purpose of this session, we could create uh, up to six new wikis with different uh, configurations. and. Uh, we could then see uh, what uh, the pros and cons are of those different configurations. For that, I would like to have your feedback, whether we should go through that and uh, whether, um, yeah, you have any preferences for this. Um, you, you see what I see. So if you want uh, to give me feedback, uh, it's nice if you just type something in the areas where I can so uh, where do we do this? I'll just do it here. Uh, feedback to the 
speaker. Uh, so when, when I'm uh, asking for your feedback, that would be a good session to, uh, section to put it in. Um, so first, are you interested in um, seeing the process of how to set up a, a new Wikibase cloud instance? And uh, if so, then uh, further questions will come up uh, in doing so, uh, because uh, you have a number of options on how to configure these. I don't see any feedback, which is usually uh, not the not the best circumstance. So, uh, well, then I will just go ahead and I will create a uh, Wikibase instance. And um, so I, uh, I'll give it a name. Something like this. So uh, here, uh, I find it interesting that you can have uh, a custom domain, um, but that is maybe too complex uh, for like uh, for now. But if anyone's interested in that, I'm happy to look into this. Uh, then so that will be uh, the name. Uh, so I will just use my own name here. And so filling out this form basically uh, generates the process which creates that wiki. And uh, now I can, I have a number of options here. Um, first, um, it, well, I can choose a skin uh, for somebody who uh, is new to this wiki-based cloud uh, environment. It might be useful to have an explanation of what this skin does and what the benefits uh, and pitfalls of the individual options are, um, because to a newbie, this doesn't mean much. Um, yeah, we can put a logo. Um, actually, yeah, we could uh, just, is there a Wikimedia hacker? If, if you have a suggestion for the logo, put it in the, put the link in, uh, in here, and then I'll use it. Otherwise, I will start this without a logo, um, because that can be set later on as well. Um, so then here, we uh, can see whether uh, the accounts must be requested, which is this option, or no, anyone can basically um, set up an account, which then basically means that once the spammers have detected the wiki, you will get lots of spammers. Uh, for the moment, we can leave it at that, uh, but in the long run, uh, spam is a big problem uh, in those instances, like, like in any other media wiki installation. Okay, um, then, here uh, we have a number of things that may not mean much when you're really starting uh, your first instance, um, but uh, there there are character limits on some parts of text um, and some basically types of data that you can enter. And uh, I, I would just go with the default here, the defaults here. And then there are some features here uh, on another tab. Um, so. Um, th this basically is a mapping to Wikidata. In Wikidata, the P31 is for instance of and P279 is for a subclass of. So they, these two basically define uh, the structure of the graph. And so uh, most uh, Wikibase instances will have something very similar. And there is a, a mechanism by which we can basically declare that, um, and which is then useful for things like um, quick statements, um, but since we don't have any content yet, uh, we can't do the mapping uh, yet. Um, yeah, and also we can uh, map individual items, entities to Wikidata or even like themes, but I think we will get back to that uh, later on. So for the moment, um, this is what we have. Yeah, and then there's always uh, the possibility to delete the site. Um, so these are the very basic options. Uh, in all of this, I do not see any options for additional extensions. There are no options for widgets, uh, as uh, which, which was uh, alluded to by Tiago's comment here somewhere, yeah, here, uh, or user tools. And uh, all of this uh, is basically um, not documented here, um, but some of those things are very, common on the other uh, wikis. And so some people would basically come to expect similar functionality 
Um, okay, so now I can go back to the to the dashboard, and so here is the. Uh, I probably should um, should um, confirm my email address um, before I can actually use this. Let's see. Uh, I can already log in. Yeah, uh, Daniel, yeah if anyone wants to say something, please go ahead. Yeah, what did you say just a moment ago about things that were like common on other wiki, on wiki data that people might expect to be that? I think my own is putting out the notes. Uh, sorry, I only understood that Tom was saying something, but uh, not really what. Okay, the question was... Yes, Daniel, uh, everything is fine. Just uh, we were wondering about the last sentence you said about what is not working. I'm not sure I, I said that something is not working. I was just wondering whether, um, to what extent I, or at which point in time I need to confirm my email address because I just set up this wiki and there is a step in which I can, I need to confirm my email address before I can administer this wiki. And I, right now I didn't know where this step was, um, but I, I just uh, switched off the screen sharing. I'm in my email now um, and will, confirm my email address and then we can uh, basically move on to the uh, configuration of the key. Cool. So, okay. uh, uh, I think you have to confirm your email address once per platform account and I think you already confirmed it before you start in the session. Maybe? It's really hard to understand you. I will, I will, I will try to repeat. Uh, I will try to repeat, and uh, so someone here in the in the room was saying that maybe you can only confirm the email once per platform account, and you've already confirmed it on that account. You don't need to bother doing it again. Maybe. So you don't need to and do it not, again. You don't need to do it again. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Good. Well, then I can basically uh, just log in. Um, Sorry, uh, we are not seeing your screen. You stopped sharing it, right? Yes, I stopped sharing it because I was going into my email. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be back in a moment. Um, Fine. So it still wants me to log in to the uh, new wiki, for which I need a password. Which is in your email. Which is yes. in your email, yes. Okay, well, <laughs> uh, I'll go back to screen sharing here. <laughs> I'm not entirely done with this uh, password business, but uh, that's maybe I've just, I've made a typo or something. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure we can sort this one out. So um, the passwords I entered did not match. So here I got a new password. Oh. I have a problem. I, I kind of mistyped. Must be at least 10 characters. Um, good. <laughs> yeah, I use the very simple one now. Um, anyway, so main page. Um, so I can't log in right now, uh, which I would do only uh, if I get my password. Uh, so I already am beyond the step of creating the of using the temporary password. Uh, yeah. And it's very slow uh, anyway.
yeah looks like i'm in now sorry for that uh, so i'm resharing my screen Perfect. So uh, this is uh, the process, or this is now our very fresh wiki. Um, and uh, so it has essentially no content. Yeah. So here, it would be nice to have some default here, which basically uh, says, here's the default configuration, here's the default um, documentation, things like that. Uh, because right now it's uh, an empty page and then of course you can go in here but there is essentially no guidance on what what are the kind of things uh, that have to be done or that could be done and, and things like that um, yeah and now uh, we could go through individual steps of uh, for instance creating new items new properties um, so I'm just gonna do uh, an item Um, something like this. So and now I might want to make some statements. So for instance, I need the instance of and the subclass of. So I make a Yeah, and so here, for instance, for the data types, it's also uh, some guidance would be useful uh, because uh, some of the users uh, might not be familiar with that or they might have uh, use cases in mind that are not entirely the same as for existing Wikibase instances that they might know. Um, Also, it would be nice, yeah, instance of and subclass of are something that essentially each of these uh, needs and would be nice to have some sort of a uh, standard for uh, how this should be uh, described or so. Um, okay, hello. Yes, we can hear you. No, I'm, I'm, uh, my hello was to this because it's it takes very, it's very slow to load. I've uh, put the I've hit this create button already like a minute ago and it, uh, on the bottom it tells me that it's doing something but it's very slow not sure whether that's my connection or whether that's this wikibase instance hard to tell um, it's still loading okay now we have this property uh, and here we could then say it's an instance of a wikibase property something like this um, there are other uh, like quirks like for instance on uh the data the items they are uh they don't have this item colon prefix there is a redirect from the item namespace and you can basically just type q1 directly in your um new wiki base this won't work so uh let's just demo this quickly q1 yeah i'm, I'm basically just getting an error and that is also something that uh, people sometimes take some time to figure out and would be nice if uh, if it would be easier to get uh, the functionality either way. Uh, sometimes people actually want it, that it is a different thing to make it clear. This is the item namespace. And sometimes people just want it uh, the same way they uh, know it from Wikidata or from uh, some other Wikibase. And uh, so they might prefer to drop this, but there is essentially uh, no documentation on how to do it how to achieve that and it, it is irritating uh, initially so now we can say the uh, first item is an instance of something and that something is uh, just not there yet uh, so we need a new item for for that and at this point here the demo uh, becomes less useful because uh, each wikibase instance of course has uh, um, a particular purpose for which it is set up and um, so and and uh, in the context of this climate change uh, instance for instance that I showed you it is things like individual sections uh, and paragraphs that are in that particular document and its concepts that are being described there alongside with uh, some things about the order or about the confidence level about the particular 
facts in that PDF. Um, so an entity is always uh, is a, basically it's a subclass. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I didn't want to. Oops, I didn't want to. Um, yeah, I want to make some statements. So an entity. What is an entity? Is uh, something. <laughs> Uh, so here, this one is an entity, right? So, um, and yeah, okay. Also here, that's another uh, thing, the terms of use. So it would be nice if they would come with a, uh, some sort of default things here. It's all in red, but it would be nice if it were all in CC zero, or, uh, maybe I could choose, uh, some default terms of use, uh, while setting up the, uh, instance. Um, because what I notice, people essentially ignore this for uh, most of these Wikibase instances because it's uh, legal stuff and it's uh, work and, and so on. But if those terms of use are not clarified, then essentially it means uh, classical copyright applies and then uh, you basically can't touch it, um, which is fine for some of those instances where it's basically just used for modeling purposes and it's a, essentially a throwaway thing anyway. Um, like this one that we're building right here. Um, but uh, some of the others have at least medium term uh, use usage and they serve as a staging area for uh, preparing data that is then being exported to another place, often Wikidata, but not necessarily so. And for that, uh, the licensing is of course crucial. And uh, so making that clearer um, would be very useful. And then also all, all these uh, policies here, disclaimers and, and so on. Let's see what we have here. Here, yeah, uh, there's a general disclaimer. It's linked in blue here from the bottom, which kind of uh, insinuates that it actually has content, but no, it's an empty page. The same for the about page. So if they are uh, empty pages, well, then uh, they should be listed in red. I think the same is for privacy policy, but the mobile view happily uh, normally should work. Let's see. Okay, a yeah, project about doesn't have a, a page that uh, uh, makes sense. Um, yes, there's the current, uh, but basically the, um, or we can, Q1, see whether that works. Another irritation that I sometimes come across is uh, that when you have created a new item and then you want to reuse it, then there is a certain delay, which can be up to like 10 minutes or so. Um, until you can actually use it in a statement like here. So I just created this uh, entity thing, which was, I think, my Q2. Yeah, it's my Q2. Uh, and so, for instance, I wanted to make this statement. It's an instance of uh, a Q2. Uh, then sometimes I have to wait a number of minutes before this actually becomes possible. That is irritating. Um, but yeah, OK. So here it actually found this thing. And so yeah, mobile at least works. And then I can also go back to the desktop Yes, um, but here again, it uh, suggests to me that I can create the page Q1, which makes sense in a certain way, uh, because uh, that is basically in the, the main namespace, whereas uh, the, uh, the Q1 that I have created is in the item namespace. Uh, but for many practical purposes, people actually uh, want to treat these as being the same thing. There should be, this should be configurable. Um, yeah, so half of our time is already uh, over, and I would uh, like to have a bit more interaction than just uh, me um, basically um, making a monologue here. So I'll have another look into the pad and see whether um, there is anything that we could be discussing here. I see that uh, there are more colors than uh, coming in. So, uh, but still nothing here in the feedback to the speaker. So. Uh, um, I'm wondering why are you participating in here? Do you have any concrete um, 
problems, suggestions or anything like that, now it would be a good time to uh, share them. Uh, yeah, because we don't know uh, when the next session like this will be or uh, how we can help each other. Certainly, I don't know how I can help or uh, Tom, who, who knows the system very well, doesn't know how to help uh, if you don't voice uh, your thoughts on this. So I'll um, go silent for a moment to see what anyone wants to speak up. Uh, and in the meantime, I'll read uh, what is in here and you will see I will keep sharing my screen so you will see where I am. And um, yeah, if I don't hear anyone from you, then I will basically just comment on the things that we have here. And then otherwise we could go back uh, to this demo instance and also um, maybe delete it so that that process is uh, visible. Uh, or we could set up another one with slightly different settings, those kinds of things. Hey, Daniel, this is Tom. Um, yeah, so the audio, uh, like acoustic quality in the room is super poor, so that's why no one's really talking. It's we can hear you pretty well because you're massively amplified, but when anyone else speaks, it just echoes around the room, so that's why people aren't doing a huge amount of talking and are instead typing. I mean, even if they're talking to each other in the room, it's quite hard to hear each other, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I think everyone mostly heard what you were saying, right? Does everybody nod? Yeah, people at the back of the room nod, they heard what you were saying, so that's great. Um, I think we mostly tracked most of the things you were saying in the etherpad. Um, so hopefully that's right. There's a tiny bit there which says, what did Daniel say? And that's what the disruption was in the middle of uh, things where we were asking what you said there. Um, this looks cool. Um, I think one thought for me is that, I, and I pasted a lot of these links at the bottom. So there's a tech writer now at uh, Wikimedia Germany who's put a little bit of time into, or well, actually quite a lot of time into um, trying to make some documentation that's both useful for Wikibase in general, but also for Wikibase Cloud. And uh, I think he's kind of decided um, that, in his opinion, the best place to put this is on MediaWiki.org rather than on Wikitech. Um, so it's obviously not an edict, but like if you wish to kind of join in with that process, then I think he'd be very keen to see these pages edited. So that's why I linked them at the bottom. I think he'd be very excited to see more people add more things to this um, and explain stuff. So yeah, I guess if anyone in the room is keen to like improve the docs, this is, would be a great place to start um, some of these. I added a few sections where I think some of the stuff Daniel was talking about being lacking could definitely get squeezed in there. Um, but yeah, I don't know how this is best to work, but I was kind of thinking if other people in the room wanted to talk, either they should walk over here to the laptop and talk to you. I think that's probably best. Yeah, so I don't know if anyone else wants to say anything, but I'm going to walk back to my laptop now. Bye. Yeah, thanks for walking to the microphone. I, I understood you perfectly uh, in contrast to your pr previous remarks. Uh, but I'm also fine for people who don't want to walk to the microphone to just put you know, your thoughts in into the etherpad. Um, yeah. So I see some comments here by Tiago. Tiago, do you want to speak out as well? So what, what is it? Okay, maybe this was more for the people in the room. I couldn't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. You can <laughs> sure, it was just that uh, in the in the GitHub it seems to be mixed the reference to WB stack and to Wikibase, but not cloud. So it's a bit hard to see what is just legacy code that is not actually being uh, worked on and what's actual wikibase.cloud uh, infrastructure, but just with JWP stack references. Yeah, I think, um, I think everything actually has to be in like an archive repo. So all of the stuff that's under the WB stack is still the live version of the code. Um, so like it's definitely not really decided what's going to happen, but I think generally this is fine that maybe the name of the Software will say WP stack, yeah. and the instance will be Wikibase Cloud. So, like, if another organization wants to run their own something like Wikibase Cloud, they could run the WP stack code and yeah. call it under Wikibase Cloud. Yeah. 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 Is it the same that would save people? Yeah. Out of time? I don't know, maybe because I, I want Wikibase Cloud and then click on GitHub, yeah. and then there was one. There will be standards. Yeah. Maybe like in GitHub snippets that say like 
Yeah, yeah, like repository for the WP stack slash would be the cloud, and perhaps in the readme just come and say, like, uh, reference to the WP stack is still. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, it was all pretty good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Any any other question or comment uh, from the audience? So I think I have to do that in fact because I think you probably don't have the right to do that. So feel free to add that kind of right. comment to the docs on the wiki, but I can add our Yeah, so yes, to some of those questions here. Um, maybe you can put the answers if the answers are known. Uh, you can put them in here. Yeah, so I think I've now basically uh, read through the content of the Etherpad. I haven't clicked on those links here. Some of them I know, uh, some of them I don't. Um, so, yeah, we have about 15 minutes left in this session. I could go deeper into one of those two uh, base instances that uh, I've shown so far. Um, maybe this one would make more sense because it actually has content. Um, but we could also go uh, into the the one that I've just created. Um, maybe I should put the link to it um, somewhere here as well. It's, it's this one. Uh, I don't, uh, not sure where this should go in the in the notes. I'll just put it here. Um, and so you you could in principle request accounts there, but I'm not sure to what extent this uh, would make sense. We could also um, use it to demo how to delete an instance or how to change some of the, uh, the characters. So uh, some of the things I haven't mentioned yet is that there are possibilities that you can reuse the um, items or the properties from Wikidata, but so far not both, right? And uh, this is a decision that at the beginning, if you haven't really uh, used such a system, uh, it's not entirely clear which uh, one of these would be the best option for your particular purpose. And uh, so I was wondering whether uh, there would be a uh, Wikibase instance that has one of these features in, installed and, is, uh, and can be used uh, to kind of experience that, rather than everybody setting up their own instance with this one configuration and then noticing, oh, no, this doesn't work. <laughs> and then setting up another instance uh, with the other configuration. Oh, look, this also doesn't work the way I expected it. Uh, so there could be a bit uh, more um, generic support for, uh, like, to what extent the existing data from uh, Wikidata or even another Wikibase can actually be reused in such a new one. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe that's also something to look into. Um, I think there w this was in the in a dashboard somewhere. Uh, let me see where where this was. So in the dashboard, you in the settings for this particular wiki. I actually don't see the option right now. Has it been removed? So there, there is, in principle, there is a possibility to reuse items or properties from Wikidata, but I, right now I don't see this. Uh, Tom, maybe you can comment on this. But... The um, option was removed in uh, 1.38, I believe, or maybe 1.37, because it wasn't compatible. They're doing a new version that doesn't just uh, link to one federated um, properties, but you can link, you can federate any property, I think. Um, however, that wasn't ready for 1.37 or 8, um, and therefore they didn't include it. Okay. So if you happen to have an old uh, instance that had this option in, included, it probably still works more or less as it, it did back then. Uh, but if you want to set up a new one, uh, then you will have to go without that option. In, in the near future, hopefully, uh, this will work uh, more smoothly. Um, and... Yeah, um, that is one of uh, the things that um, actually creates quite some confusion in the wikis that I work with. Um, 
But yeah, most of those are uh, for modeling purposes. And uh, so that confusion is limited in terms of time and people affected by it. But there are some um, Wikibase Cloud instances that, ha that are at least intended to be a bit more long term. And for those, it would really uh, make a big difference. And also, since this is something that you have to set up at the beginning of your uh, well, well, near the time of creation of your um, Wikibase, it is really important to understand it. Otherwise, you start putting content into the Wikibase and then uh, you notice, oh, well, sorry, it doesn't really work. Okay, here, someone has put a another example. So let me just, uh, okay. So for instance, I see some configuration changes here. Uh, that are different from uh, and so this to me uh, means that you are probably using a different skin here is that correct um yes that's right okay yeah and otherwise uh, do we have sample queries classes road transport infrastructure Okay. Also, no okay. examples here. Can I don't see here the the pre Yeah. Okay. Please talk. Um. So I, what you were saying about the main page, I can relate to because um, there's obviously nothing there. So I just started trying to put in some sample queries to explain the classes and what I've got in there so far, and also to help me track it as I'm building it. But as I said, next to the link, it's just um, really me learning Wikibase Cloud and uh, also using it, to, hopefully, to demo to local GLAM institutions to help them use it and see if they want to donate any of their stuff. Yeah, uh, perfectly fine use for such a Wikibase. Um, so um, keep going. Uh, the one thing that I'm missing uh, as I'm looking at this for the first time is some sort of an about here, like. What's the scope of this Wikibase? Devonshire, okay, of course. Yeah, that has already gives it uh, some idea, but, but what aspect of it and things like that or, um, yeah. Yeah, it's a fair uh, point, I don't really, I, it started off as, um, I was just gonna do thatch cottages, but then it's expanded. And as I had to build the ontologies, I'm just starting off with the geography of the county, really. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna go with it, I might just, uh, give up at some point and go back to editing Wikidata more because it's taken so much of my time just to structure everything from the bottom up. Yeah, actually, this one here uh, is also irritating because I'm on this Wikibase instance um, and it sh still shows me the background of Wikidata, right? And uh, so having that, uh, ideally, if there is a um, if there is a logo image here, that should be in the background of the queries for that particular query engine uh, or query endpoint. And uh, that would also help, uh, let's say, minimize confusion. Um, here, uh, in terms of your link, I, I would just make it clear that these are queries. Um, and so maybe we had a little sentence here. Uh, and then another thing we haven't talked about yet is we have a Wikibase registry. Uh, so uh, it's actually here, um, which was meant to keep track of all the Wikibase instances that uh, come to be, at least for more than just modeling purposes. Um, but yeah, this uh, has not been very active and yeah, I, I'm actually an admin on it, but I forgot my password and I, I pinged at him about it and uh, yeah, uh, I haven't gotten back into it. And uh, so in principle, the idea was to keep track of that entire ecosystem and uh, uh, to um, use that to also reach out and uh, standardize things so that documentation, for instance, that is relevant to many instances could actually be put into this one. Um, but yeah, this hasn't happened. And so the question would also extend in the future. I think there was some discussion about it recently on some channel, but I don't remember which. Um, yeah, now I'm trying to get back to the notes. Here we go. Uh, I'm also putting this, uh, 
So it'd be really back. helpful if we did have a template for the main page that it comes with just um, just some things you can fill out to give you a basic overview of an instance. Um, it'd be fairly easy to do, I would have thought. Yeah, just a, a, a set of simple steps to follow. Okay, thanks for creating this Wikibase instance. Now, here are a few suggestions on what you could be doing next. Like, for instance, um, set up an uh, instance of a subclass of thing, uh, map uh, your stuff to Wikidata or to another Wikibase, uh, set up the prefixes for the query service, set up Prattle, uh, set up uh, quick statements, those kind of things, set up a sandbox item, uh, and then do some edits on it with a uh, quick statement. Those kind of things could all be going on the main page. And then uh, the admin of that new Wikibase instance would basically have to go through. They can, of course, ignore any of those individual points. But if they are reasonably structured, they would probably follow the uh, suggestions. Yeah, I think so. If it, if it just comes with that sort of template as default, they could fill it in. Okay, we have five minutes left, uh, and you probably have to jump to other sessions at some point as well. So um, it's time for closing remarks and also things about how shall we keep this going. So I'm happy if anyone uh, does not have access to a uh, Wikibase cloud instance and wants to play, I'm happy to provide uh, this uh, instance that I have here um, for playing and I'm, I still have five that I can set up. I'm happy to, to use those as well for documentation purposes. Um, where we could, for instance, play around with what would be the content that should go on to, onto the main page or things like that. Um, so if, you, if you're interested in that, just uh, ping me uh, or uh, request an account on, on this uh, demo Wikibase and we can take things from there. Yeah. Also, if you want, if you haven't already got a Wikibase Cloud platform account and you're looking for an invite code, then uh, you can come find me and I will, uh, I don't know if you're either remote or here, um, you can skip the queue. I will like mint you on today so that you can work on it now. Okay, so then uh, maybe with the last uh, minutes, I would just like to inspire some thoughts in you or uh, harvest some of those uh, thoughts from your brain in terms of what the usages are of those Wikibase cloud instances. Um, to some extent, this was also uh, requested in some form that I had recently filled in. I don't remember what the content was, but basically they were asking whether um, this is meant to be a permanent thing, um, or whether it's just for modeling purposes, a throwaway thing, or uh, I don't know yet, like intermediate term kind of thing. And I've, uh, I have not done a permanent thing, but I've done a few of those throwaway things that I just use for figuring out something, and then like half an hour later, I'm throwing away that instance. And But the six slots that I have in, uh, in my personal account uh, they're all for intermediate uh, terms of things. So uh, I'm working on this with a number of other people um, for on the scale of weeks to months. And uh, then we uh, have some stable data model, which is then being transferred somewhere else, typically to Wikidata. And uh, so I would like to learn more about how you are using these things. So for instance, Simon, do you plan for this Devonshire thing to be a permanent uh, thing? And then what should be the place for these permanent Wikibase cloud instances in our ecosystem? Is that actually supported by the Wikibase cloud team? Things like that. That's, that's awesome, Daniel. Okay, here's another one. Uh, let's have a look at that one as well. Uh -huh, okay. Mm -hmm. There seems to be some quite some customization going on here. 
which is nice. And the question is then how, yeah, okay, the about is still empty here. Ah, no, it actually has a C0. Okay, good. At least some basic content. Good. Um, so yes. the, the idea is that that would be done via Wikibase. Right now, it's a huge JavaScript blob. So I'm trying to modernize. And we have lots of tables for convention data and, and other sorts of data like charity lo you know, loading, that sort of thing, charity fundraising. But to get it into manageable status, we have like 170 conventions now. We don't want to be editing six different tables and graphs and having all of that. We want to have it automatically done, you know, automatically just edit the data once. So that's the plan. Wikibase.cloud is the place I'm prototyping some of this stuff. Um, it is getting integrated into an actual Wikibase instance, i.e. a source base one probably. Um, Wiki, I'm not a huge fan of Docker uh, and we already have a Wiki farm. But that's the plan. Wikibase.cloud is the temporary location where we can try out things. For example, event instances, I've got Cradle, I've got the validations via a schema, just trying out the platform features. And um, I think it's a good platform for that. It's just that it's not as customizable as you would want for an actual use, if you get what I mean. You know, yeah. I just yeah. Okay, well, our time is up. Uh, I think uh, we have to make space for the other sessions uh, or participate in, in others. There's so much going on. Thanks for joining here. Um, and if you are working on like documentation for Wikibase Cloud, um, I'm happy to join forces. And yeah, let's take things from there. <laughs> so thank you very much. Thank you, Anel. Thank you all the attendees. So we are close in the session. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Bye bye.